another Mrs H psychology video. This is for paper three for the addiction topic. And here it's just a short video on um, describing the very first bullet point in the specification under addiction, describing part two withdrawal syndrome. So withdrawal syndrome, withdrawal itself refers to um, unpleasant symptoms experienced as a result of failing to receive the normal dose of a drug, drug or substance in which you've become dependent. Uh, withdrawal symptoms in, um, indicate a physical dependence has developed. So if you see video one of this, you'll see definition of physical dependence. It occurs following tolerance. Again, you'll see the definition there. So when the levels drop below tolerance, the person gets unpleasant withdrawal symptoms, which force them then to go and seek the substance again. Now, physical symptoms are going to depend on the substance, substance but also on the individual. And um, as withdrawal symptoms are the result of the body not having that substance, they tend to be the opposite effects of having the drug. So if we have a look at withdrawal severity, this depends on the substance, the amount consumed, and also their drug use pattern. So the substance, each drug has a half-life. That is the amount of time to eliminate half of the drug from the body. So the shorter the half-life, the more intense is going to be the withdrawal. Secondly, the amount consumed, obviously the larger the dose, the worse the withdrawal is going to be. Thirdly, drug use pattern. If the drug is the substance is used regularly, then it's in the body for most of the day and therefore you've got more physical dependence. So withdrawal is going to be greater. And examples, a couple of examples. We use Hodder, um, book two for this, and there's the page references. So a couple of examples, but there are more in Hodder. For example, alcohol, there'll be intense symptoms for about 24 hours. Uh, for example, intense nausea, sweating, sometimes DTs, delirium tremors, which cause confusion, aggression, extreme agitation. With nicotine, maximum intensity of withdrawal starts around 24 to 48 hours. It can last for weeks, though, even months. And symptoms would be things like irritability, loss of sleep, weight gain. And although we've had withdrawal as definition on our spec um, for some time before, with the new spec, this is the first time we've got, I believe, withdrawal syndrome on specification. So it is um, important that you are clear on this.